next the third operation is a ring sum okay so this is graph g1 and this is graph g2 the ring sum of graph g1 and g2 is denoted by g1 delta g2 is equal to b1 union b2 comma e1 delta e2 where b1 union b2 is nothing but the union of vertex set v1 and b2 in graphs g1 and g2 e1 delta e2 is nothing but symmetric difference between the edge set in graph g1 and graph g2 where e1 delta e2 is equal to e1 union e2 minus e1 intersection e2 okay so here this place e1 delta e2 can be replaced by this one and b1 union b2 how we are finding out v1 union b2 how we are finding out e1 delta e2 so v1 union b2 is equal to vertex set v1 and vertex set b2 are combined in graph g1 and g2 so vertex set v1 is nothing but vertices in graph g1 v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 so v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 union v2 is nothing but vertex set in graph g2 so graph g2 vertex set is v2 is nothing but v1 v2 v6 v3 v4 so that is v1 v2 v3 v4 v6 okay so we are performing the union operation between the vertex set v1 in graph g1 and vertex set v2 in graph g2 is equal to so set of v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 v6 so here v1 here v2 here v3 here v4 here v5 okay v1 already there v2 already there v3 already there v4 already there uh, v6 it is not there we have to write v6 okay so this is the v1 union v2 result next go for uh, e1 delta e2 is equal to e1 union e2 minus e1 intersection e2 so e1 union e2 is equal to so the edge set in graph g1 what are the edge set in graph g1 v1 comma v2 v1 comma v5 v2 comma v3 v2 comma v4 v3 comma v4 and v4 comma v5 so these are the edge set in graph g1 union e2 e2 is nothing but edge set in graph g2 so that is a v1 to v2 v1 to v2 v1 to v4 v1 to v4 v1 to v3 v1 to v3 v2 to v6 v2 to v6 v2 to v3 next v2 to v4 next one v6 to v3 and v3 to v4 okay so now we are combining the edge set in e1 union e2 is equal to this one okay so v1 comma v2 v1 comma v5 v2 comma v3 v2 comma v4 uh, v3 comma v4 next v4 comma v5 any other there except this one yes v2 comma v6 is there next one v6 comma v3 is there okay this is the union operation between the edge set e1 and e2 next one e1 intersection e2 what are the common edges between these two vertices so v1 to v2 v1 to v2 yes so we are writing common edge v1 to v2 v2 to v3 v2 to v3 we have to write v2 to v3 next v2 to v4 v2 to v4 yes we have to write v2 to v4 next one uh, v3 to v4 v3 to v4 yes it is there so this is the common edge between the 
एडजस्टेड E1 and E2 in graph G1 and G2. Okay. Now after finding out E1 union E2, E1 and intersection E2, then we have to find out the symmetric difference. E1 delta E2 is equal to E1 union minus E1 intersection E2. So here E1 E2 is there. E1 union E2 is there. Here E1 intersection E2 is there. So whatever the uh, edge set, this one we are eliminated from this one. So then we are getting the result. So that is V1 comma V3, V1 comma V5, V2 comma V6, V3 comma V6, V4 comma V5. Okay, so the edge set in E1 union E2, not there in E1 intersection E2. Okay, so here this is the resultant graph. Okay, here V1 union V2. So V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6. V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6. Next, E1 delta E2 is equal to V1 comma V3. Yes, V1 comma V3 edge is there. V1 comma V5, V1 comma V5 edge is there. V2 comma V6 edge is there. V3 comma V6 edge is there. V4 comma V5 edge is there. So five edges are there in ring sum of G1 and G2. Okay, so this is the uh, third operation uh, performed on the graphs. The third operation is ring sum. So these are the two graphs. After performing the ring sum operation on these two graphs, this is the resultant graph. How we are getting the resultant graph? This is the calculation part. Okay. Next, the ring sum of two graphs G1 and G2 can also be written as G1 delta G2 is equal to G1 union G2 minus G1 intersection G2. G1 union G2 is nothing but union operation. G1 intersection G2 is nothing but intersection operation. So union operation minus intersection operation performed between the two graphs, then it is called as ring sum of G1 and G2. Okay, so this is a, a union operation of G1 and G2, that is G1 union G2. This is the intersection operation between two graphs G1 and G2 is a G1 intersection G2. So between these two resultant operation, we are performing the minus operation. Okay, whatever the edges exist in G1 and G2, G1 intersection G2 are deleted or are removed from G1 union G2. Okay, that means so V1 comma V2 edge here is there, it can be deleted from this one. Okay, so it is deleted. Okay, next one V2 comma V3 edge is there. So this is deleted in this graph. Okay, next one V4 comma V3 edge is there. So it is deleted V4 comma V3. Next one V2 comma V4 edge here is there. It can be deleted V2 comma V4. Next one V1 comma V4 edge is there. So this can be deleted V1 comma V4. What are the remaining edges are there? That are the resultant of a ring sum of G1 and G2. So here this edge is there V1 to V5. Next V2 to V6 edge is there. V6 to V3 edge is there. V1 to V3 edge is there. And V5 to V4 edge is there. Okay. So this is the ring sum of G1 delta G2 operation. This is the simplest operation when we are compared to the previous discussion. Okay. Next one, fourth one is, fourth operation is decomposition operation. So what is decomposition operation? Decomposition operation is nothing but partition operation. Let us consider a graph G. Okay, that graph G can be partitioned or decomposed into 
two subgraphs that is G1 and G2. Okay. So, if G1 union G2 is equal to G, compulsory, this condition should be satisfied for uh, uh, getting the decomposition operation. Okay. So, when we are combining these uh, two subgraphs, then we are getting the original graph. Then we can say that the decomposition operation is uh, performed successfully. Okay. Now, consider this example. So, this is the given graph G. This graph can be decomposed or are partitioned into two subgraphs. Graph G1 is one subgraph. Graph G2 is another subgraph. Okay. So, when we are combining these two subgraphs, we are getting the original graph. Then we can say that decomposition operation is performed successfully. Okay. We have to check this one. The union of G1 and G2 is G or not. Okay. So, G1 union G2 is equal to uh, union of vertex set and union of edge set in two graphs G1 and G2. So, V1 union V2. What is V1? Vertex set graph G1. Okay. What are the vertex set? A, B, C. Here A, B, C. Union. What is V2? Vertex set in graph G2. That is A comma C. Next comma. E1 union E2. Edge set E1. Okay. Edge set E1 means. So edge set in graph G1. Okay. What are the edge set? A comma B. B comma C. A comma B. B comma C. So here also intersection. Union. Okay. Next. Uh, what? E2. E2 is nothing but uh, edge set in graph G2. Only one edge that is A comma C. So we are performing the union operation between the vertex set in graph G1 and G2. So here A comma B comma C union A comma C. Then we are getting A comma B comma C. It is equivalent to vertex set in graph G. Next one. Here union operation performed between the edge set in graph G1 and G2. So when we are combining the union operation, we are getting A comma B, B comma C and A comma C. So it is equivalent to edge set in main graph G. Okay. So that is B comma E. Vertex set in B is nothing but A, B, C. Next edge set in graph G is nothing but A comma B. B comma C, A comma C. That is equivalent to E. So, B comma E is nothing but graph G. Okay. B is nothing but vertex set in graph G. E is nothing but edge set in graph G. Okay. So, after performing the union operation between G1 union G2, we are getting G. Hence, we can say that this decomposition or a partition operation is successful. So, whenever we are partitioning the graph G into G1 and G2 subgraphs, when we are uh, performing the union operation between the two subgraphs G1 and G2, then we are getting the original graph G. Hence, we can say that the decomposition operation or partition operation can be performed successfully. Okay.